In this brief video, I'll demonstrate how to create a Zoom activity, a live web conferencing session within your course in eLearning or Moodle. Now, this also assumes that you have already configured and integrated Zoom into Moodle. In our case here at Cairn University, we have Zoom configured and it's available for all courses in the learning management system. So to schedule and configure a Zoom activity, we simply need to go to that particular week or unit in the course. Then we click under Add an Activity or a Resource, and then simply scroll down and choose Zoom Meeting. Then click on Add, and then provide a name for this item. I'm going to keep the numbers in sequence there, so I'm going to name it 1.8 Live Web Conference. It's also, if you're teaching online, it's important that you state also the time zone and such. And then under the description area, you might want to put uh, details in there about this particular activity. So here you could state that uh, a webcam is required and also a link for them to test the system beforehand. And this is the valid link to put in your course. And you can also hyperlink it as well. And provide additional directions. Now, if you want this to show up on the main course page, you simply put a check mark here, display description on the main course page, and uh, that will be supplemented with those directions. Now, by default here, you technically could simply click and leave all these other options alone here and simply click on Save and Return to the course. Now, this means that you can start this meeting at any point and it's not tied to any dates or times. The students will join you based on the title on the top of your item that you created on the course. If you'd prefer to set a specific date and time, then you need to uncheck this recurring option and then put the correct date and time. And remember that you cannot test this until half an hour prior to the scheduled time. So make sure that those dates and times are correct here. The other option here as well is notice that it's going to enable to join before the host. That means that the students can actually start this meeting before you are ready to join them and get in there. Typically, the system will also email you that your students are waiting for you and it serves as a, a nice reminder in case you forgot to join the meeting. Now, once you are set with that, whether you are choosing the recurring option or the dates here, it doesn't matter which one option you choose, and then you press Save and Return to the course. Then in this case, the students and you will start the meeting from here. So you'll need to advise the students that all these Zoom meetings will start from the course, and you and the students will click on it, You'll see the details. They'll be able to test the system if necessary. And then you, as the owner of this meeting, have the option to start it. And the students typically have the option to join. Their button here, it'll be a blue button. It will say, Join Meeting. Once you press Start Meeting, it will prompt you to launch your web camera and your microphone. And you'll be set. So it will look like this. You might need to click on Open Zoom Meetings, and that's in case you didn't have Zoom installed in your computer. It's going to prompt you to install it, to download and install a small piece of software, and you just install it just like any other item on your computer. Then you click on Open Meeting, and then you can choose here Join with Computer Audio, or you can use, and the students as well could join, by using a phone call. So in case they have audio issues, they can dial any of these numbers and then put in this meeting ID and they'll be able to listen to what's happening in the course using a regular phone. If we wanted to join here using a, a computer, they'll simply click here, join using computer audio, and then 
you're up and running. Then you can control the microphone from here. You can start with a video, so make sure you're enabled to choose to start with a video from here. So you just click on it once. And then under Manage Participants, this is where you can see who has joined you in your meeting. Then when it comes time for you to, let's say you're interacting with the students, their cameras are on and you're interacting with them and such, then if you want to go over the lesson or something and share something from the course page, you simply, by the way, this toolbar, notice it uh, disappears at times, so you simply move the mouse to the bottom and it will show up. At this point, you can click on Share if you want to share your screen, and then you simply click on Share again, and then it's going to uh, share whatever you have on the desktop. So whatever at this point you want uh, to demonstrate to the students on your PC here or your on your course, they'll be able to see it from their end. Now I'm going to go back, let's say, to the course here, and all of this, it will be projected to their screens. Keep in mind, if you m move the mouse to the very top of the screen here, notice there is also this annotate tool that you can utilize and uh, you can simply then highlight and underline things and go over things just like as if it were a whiteboard or a touch screen on your computer. So then move the mouse to the very top and then those tools will show up again. When you're ready to stop the sharing, you can click here on Stop Share on the top and that will stop the screen sharing with, uh, with your students. By the way, the students can share the screens as well, so you can invite them to do their presentation or to share their screen in a similar way. Notice that by default, the meeting is going to be recorded, and you can control it from up here, the recording. It's best, typically, to let it record and then send and post the link to that recording the next day uh, once you receive an email about it in your course for other students that might have missed this live session. Keep in mind also that there is an option here for chat and this is where you'll see uh, the any students that have questions, they might post the questions in there and you can respond also to individual students or to everyone from the same area here. Once you're done with the meeting, to close it, you simply click here on End. And notice it's kind of hiding behind my screen here, but uh, it's in the bottom right here, End Meeting. And then it'll prompt you to end the meeting for all. And at this point, after about, uh, depending on how long your meeting was, uh, anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour's time, you'll receive an email with a link to the recording. Now, typically, those directions are also posted here under for employees and also under using Zoom web conferencing. If you have not activated your Karen account or your Zoom account here, if you have not activated your Zoom account, you can always go and activate it from this link here by simply clicking on it and then choose to sign in and basically you'll simply sign in with your Karen email and your Karen password. These are the steps that we kind of went over here. There are some video directions as well. When you receive the email from Zoom, it will look like this. It will sh say share your recording and it will give you a URL similar to this here in the bottom right that is in that square here. And then these are the directions how to post that uh, link on the course page. So it's basically simply you copy the URL from your email and then you come to the course page or return to the course page. And then you click on add an activity. You choose the option for URL. You click on add here and then you give it a name and you simply post the URL to your activity right there, the URL that you copied from your email and so on, whatever the URL would have been. So copy and paste it and then press save and return to the course and the students will be able to view your previous recording. So that's how you create a Zoom session in your course, how you hold a meeting, a live meeting in your course and how you post a, a URL or the link to the recording for your live meeting in your course.